welcome back welcome back to the channel you guys um, if you haven't seen it already go check out Kayla's bedroom makeover video um, this is my process and my footage of uh, trying to get that TV mounted um, you can see I'm buying the fixed mount so it can be flush to the wall it can be you know as thin as possible close to the wall as possible um, right here I'm looking at the actual trim piece uh, that's gonna be the front portion of the frame that you're gonna see so these pieces right here are like common board or hobby wood they're supposed to be um, they're a quarter inch by four inches by three feet I wish they were four feet that would have been better but this is all they had at the store that day um, the price you guys seventy dollars not to mention the wood glue and miter saw but that's a great deal when you look at these TVs they can cost at least six hundred dollars up to like four thousand for like a 70 inch or something like that so you're gonna save a lot of money by doing this on your own um, right now I'm just sizing and cutting these pieces um, like I said since I had to get 36 inch uh, long wood I'm actually gonna combine two pieces of wood so that's why you guys see this plate right here it's like a connector for like wood during construction I have these wood screws they're a little bit too long um, I just don't want them to come out on the other side of the wood so I added these little uh, paint mixing sticks um, and then I just used the wood glue to actually combine the two and hold it together and that's really gonna get the good bond that you need um, so I really could have just used wood glue and kept it moving but I just didn't know how strong this stuff really was but it actually I think it'll actually hold up but for this project I just wanted to be sure I'm used to nails and screws y'all nails and screws so now I'm cutting a scrap piece of plywood and this is going to be used to actually attach the TV mount to the studs within the wall um, as you guys can see that TV mount that back plate is very small it's not that thick so you're not gonna be adding a lot of like depth behind your TV because um, you know when you're adding a TV frame too that means you're that's a thicker piece of wood you're gonna have to get and they I, th I think it only goes up to four inches so um, you definitely don't want to add too much by getting one of those fancier tilting or anything like that kind of TV mounts I want to thank my understudy uh, carpenter with me. Uh, she helped me hold this plywood up. Uh, you guys, you can use drywall anchors for this. The TV mount uh, came with them in the kit. I just didn't trust it. I preferred it the way it actually be in the studs and I feel like it's more sturdy. Um, but once you actually put that, that back plate that I'm screwing in now into the plywood, um, you actually have the full support of those studs that are within the wall. Um, and I'm just more comfortable with that. So. Um, and as you can see, I could have made it a little bit longer, but it doesn't really make a difference because it's not shaking or moving or anything like that. Uh, there's no flex or bend in that metal. Y'all, this is the best part because once the TV goes up, I know it's going to go up and it's going to look okay regardless whether the frame is done or not. Um, it looks better than it sitting on the dresser um, with the frame you got to be careful you got to be flexible because they're always like little power buttons and little lights on the bottom of TVs these days so I have to make a little cutout for it so you definitely don't want to put the whole thing together before you actually account for any like odd spaces or parts like this um, so now we're actually putting it together just some more wood glue and the nails again don't use nails just use wood glue and use some books or something to hold it in place the young lady whose video is down below, she actually used popsicle sticks um, in the corners to hold them in place. So it's all kind of ways you can be creative and provide some like structural support while it's drying. She also used a stapler and some elastic to make straps so the uh, top of the TV frame won't like fall down uh, off of the TV. Uh, I use brackets and some elastic from Walmart. Uh, same purpose, same function. Uh, I didn't have a stapler or staple, so I just got some from Home Depot and kept it pushing. Cut it in half. I'm gonna insert some extension. And you guys will see the final result hopefully soon. Um, Kayla encouraged me to keep this project going, but I would have gave up a while ago if it wasn't for her. I would say this is the part of the actual project that I feel like I did better on because we actually have miter cuts in the corners 
uh, it makes it more tricky but it also makes it more uh, satisfying to see the finish so I feel like that was definitely an improvement uh, again just use wood glue to apply it to in between the two pieces of wood and put it on top